My name is Sayyad Haris. I am a medical student from India. My question is regarding the traditional medicines advised by or done by the Prophet. Are these methods told by the Prophet legislative? And if we believe more in modern medicine, am I committing kufr? Because I am not having full faith in the words of the Prophet. The question posed by the brother is that our beloved Prophet has many hadiths talking about the medicines. It's known as Tibbi Nabwi. And the Prophet has various hadiths talking about what will cure you, what will not cure you, talking about honey, talking blood seed, and various hadiths. So, the question posed by a Muslim who is a medical student that if, is it kufr? If I practice something else, if I don't practice the medicine, and if I practice like maybe allopathy or the mainstream medicine, so is it kufr? Is it wrong if I don't believe in the word of the Prophet? Regarding the last part of the question, is it wrong if I do not believe in the word of the Prophet? Yes, it is wrong. You have to believe in the word of the Prophet, but that doesn't mean you have to practice that medicine also. Practicing the medicine is not fard, because whatever the Prophet told about the medicine, if you follow, it's a sunnah. The Prophet never said it's fard that you should take honey. The Prophet spoke about the benefits of honey. The, spoke it, the Prophet spoke about the benefit of black seed, that <coughs> in this, there is cure for every disease except death. But that doesn't mean it's a fard. It is sunnah. It's sunnah the moqidah. Prophet spoke about the miswak. That if you use the siwak, and the Prophet said, if it wasn't too difficult, I'd have made it fard for every Muslim to use the siwak before every salah. But he didn't do it. So using siwak is sunnah. So whatever the Prophet recommended, whether it, it is tibbi nabwi, whether it is cupping, whether it is honey, whether it is black seed, all these are sunnah. It's not a fard. It's not fard to do it. So, but you saying, you cannot say what the Prophet said is wrong. That is wrong. You cannot say, I don't believe in the hadith. That is kufr. If it's a say hadith, Prophet said this, and if you deny it, then that is kufr. You cannot deny that. But it's not a must that you should follow it if you're practicing it. Now, you said you're a doctor. And there is an allopathy medicine which may not follow the same what the Prophet has said. It's not wrong at all. Because Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse 43, and Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 7, If you don't know, ask the person who is knowledgeable. So if you get sick, who will you ask? You'll ask a doctor. So now you are following the guidance of the doctors in today's world. He may be a non-Muslim, no problem. And the Prophet was very clear. There is a hadith in which when people were hitting the plants and the Prophet said, what are you doing? They hit the plants again, the other plants and there used to be pollination. The Prophet said, what are you doing? Don't do it. So they didn't do it and that year the crop failed. And then they realized that when they used to do those actions, it was mainly helping in pollination and the crop was good. So the Prophet said, these are worldly matters. In worldly matters, it's not necessary you have to follow everything what I say. In matters of deen, in religion, yes, you have to follow him blindly. But in matter of worldly things, you may or may not follow him. It's not compulsory. So as far as medicine is concerned, there is alternative medicine, science has advanced. So there's no problem at all in you following what the modern science says. But that doesn't mean you have to disagree with the Sahih Hadith in which the Prophet has given treatment. You can also use that. You can do both together. So if you practice general medicine or practice allopathy medicine, which is not the same as Tibbe Nabwi, there is no harm at all. You're not doing a sin. But see to it, you don't criticize the hadith in which the Prophet has spoken regarding the cure for many of the disease. Hope that answers the question.